price of Baseki wanted schools to pay over 500000 to revalidate license. After you Following the viral video making the rounds on social media by yet-to-be-identified persons depicting the Edo state government on the standard and quality of education in the state is the reason for this press briefing by the state government to set the record straight. Here at this press briefing, the commissioner recounted steps taken by the state government to reform the educational sector in the last six years. But we need those people to know that whatever government is doing in the education sector... He says sector, some of this masterpiece not, reforms in the educational current. sector has been replicated both within and outside the country Those by stakeholders. That video, we've investigated it, and the truth of the matter is, we are not really bothered about who did the video. But we need those people to know that whatever government is doing in the education sector is for not just the benefit of the parents, but benefit of all Edo people, especially our children, who we are proud to say that at least in this last WAEC examination, Edo State was stops as the best state in the result. Five, uh, five credits, including math and English, we had 92.8%. And this is as a result of the reforms which we have been doing in the education sector. But these reforms too cannot be holistic if it's restricted only to government uh, schools, or only government controlled schools. So that is why we have also tried to bring the private schools into that same ecosystem so that the standard, the standard of education is uniform across the board. And one of these reforms, some of these scrupulous people, uh, 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 they are rejecting or fighting, are now making on, on substantiated claims, is that we have insisted that every private school must write primary six and the JSS exam and to, for them to remain operational in Edo State. He further explained the importance of the compulsory attendance of students for the third term academic period in the state. This we are doing, and we are telling them, we repeat it again, the deadline for this enrollment is December 30th, 2022. Some of these uh, unscrupulous uh, uh, private school owners are trying to fight back reforms for the benefit of our children and our parents in Edo State. Learning proficiency, we cannot gamble with it. We cannot, because of uh, political expediency, try to abandon it. And today, like I said, we're very proud that in this year's 2022 work, we were first. With these set goals by the state government in the educational sector, perhaps the need for all hands to be on deck is now. Bina Hionofe, VOS TV News, Benin.